you ready for this? You ready for this? You ready for this? Welcome to this continuing series from Morgan Rees. Welcome to Fun with Cables. I'm your host, Morgan Rees. If you like anything that you see, please hit like and subscribe. For decades, I've been relying on cables from guitar cables through your amplifier, guitar, etc., all the way through the microphone. Nothing happens a without cables. So I've had to learn how to wrap them, carry them, and sometimes you're in a hurry, so you've got to figure out how to store them so that you can quickly get them out. One form of cable management is this, which I kind of doubt you're on board with. Neither am I. Everyone is different and unique in this world. And some of the ways that people manage these cables, I kind of don't like this system. In our world of computers now, everything on your desk has a cable one way or another. One actually very inexpensive way to store it is you get some of these toilet paper rolls, a shoebox, which is free, and a divider, and then you put the, each cable into each one, and that way it works and it's separated. I travel a lot, and a lot of times I'll just put this lid on it full of cables, and off I go. The side compartment, is for accessories and just things like that, knickknacks and all that. So that's a thought. Another way to stay organized with cables is if you have a desk, and most do, you put these bulldogs or clips on it and you just run your cable through it and it won't fall on the floor to keep it organized. Speaking of organized, another thing that keeps it organized, if you have these bread ties and you just write on it, in my case, I've got a two terabyte, four terabyte, SSD backups, every connector you can think of, and I just label what they are, and all the way across my desk on the side, I have and know what's going on, and I can grab it easily. Another way, a couple of ways to keeping things neat and tidy are these ties that you have. You just wrap it around the cable, wrap it around the harness if you have one underneath your desk. IKEA makes a pretty good one. Another form is this black version, but also they sell, I got this at an art and wine show, for six bucks, it's leather with a nice brass strap, and you just put it around your cables and keep organized. If you want to go on the El Cheapo, you've got bread ties, which work great. So with cables and all of the flux that's going on, I have this particular one-size-fits-all Swiss Army knife cable. What it has is on one end, that's usually the input, you have a USB-C and a USB, because the world's transitioning from these two, to the existing, there's USB-C, there's the um, Google slash Android slash Samsung USB connector that's their own, and then you've got Apple speaking of their own with this, the uh, Lightning connector. The USB uh, connectors have changed with the uh, European Union making some pretty harsh lawsuits against Apple. So they're migrating from the Apple uh, Lightning to the USB-C, but during this transitional period, which is a pain in the neck, you can have these cables that have a multi-connector on here, and that way you don't lose them. I do have, <clears throat> on some of my cables, a standalone adapter like this, and I can guarantee you in a week I'm going to have it lost. That's just the way it is. So <clears throat> I just wanted to show you some different ways of getting organized with cables. Uh, it's an interesting transitional period. If you enjoyed the content, please click like and subscribe. So I'll see you on the internet. If you'd like to learn more, log on to www.morganrees.com. That's morganrees.com. Thanks for listening.